Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over Google Drive. So what this is all about is it's kind of like a mix between Google Docs and Dropbox. So when you first set everything up, it will automatically bring in all your Google Docs, and no worries there, everything works just as you would expect. However, the major difference is that you can now sync all kinds of files and folders across your different devices. So to set it up, you just need to grab the app. So on Android, all you need to do is just get it from the Google Play Store. And on OS X or Windows, you can just, as soon as you go to drive.google.com, when you first set everything up, there will be a button where you can go ahead and download the little application. And once you get everything set up, it's very similar to Dropbox. Uh, so you get a new folder on your device, so it's going to be called, of course, Google Drive. And everything inside here is automatically synced across all your different devices and, of course, your Google Drive account. When you first set it up, it will download all the files from your Google Drive account into the folder. Now, of course, you can kind of change it in the settings, and you know, if you want to only sync certain files or folders, you can do that. But by default, it will just grab everything, and of course, it will include all your Google Docs. So, for example, I can access any of these offline if I like. Uh, but it's not limited to that. You can pretty much upload any kind of file format you like. So here's an MP3, but again, there's no real restrictions as far as that goes. But the real cool thing is, is of course, it will keep everything synced. So if I also go ahead and just grab an image here and drag it into my Google Drive account. You'll see there's a little uh, syncing thing on the bottom left here, and I will go ahead and upload it to my Google Drive account. And as soon as it's done, right where it is right now, let's go ahead and switch back over and take a look. So let's just uh, search for it. So Saran, and bam, it already has shown up. So bam, so you guys can see here just that fast, we took a picture that was on this computer and brought it into the Google uh, Drive account. And as soon as we've done that, we can do pretty much anything else we want. So we can go ahead and sync it to another, perhaps uh, maybe an Android phone, a tablet, a Mac, PC, pretty much anything you want to do. Once you have a file uploaded to Google Drive, you have a few different options as far as sharing goes. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on the little check mark and hit on this button here. And now you have a sharing menu. Uh, so by default, it's only accessible to you. But if you'd like, you can add other Gmail users or if you want to go ahead and just change the whole privacy settings overall, you can go ahead and make it totally public so anyone with the link can grab it, or you can do just anyone with a link, so kind of make it unlisted. You can also search your files into folders. So all you need to do is just create a new one. So for, let's just say video, and then you can drag and drop whatever you like. So let's just grab this, drag it to the video folder, and bam, we're all good to go. So it just kind of helps you if you want to sync specific folders to just kind of keep everything a little bit more organized. On top of that, you can also sort. So, for example, you can do it by quota used. Uh, now, typically, Google Docs do not take up any of your storage space. However, if you upload anything, so for example, music, uh, pictures, video, pretty much anything that you upload will take up some of your storage. Google Drive comes with 5 gigabytes of free storage. However, you can expand that up to 25 gigabytes for $2.50 a month and 100 gigabytes for $5 a month. So it's a little bit more expensive than it used to be. However, it's not half bad, especially considering that you can go ahead and expand it all the way out to 16 terabytes. If you guys are interested in trying out Google Drive for yourself, I will link in the description. It's simply drive.google.com. Uh, so overall, I like it a lot. I think it's not all that different from Dropbox, but it doesn't really need to be. Dropbox is great, and having everything synced into your Google account is going to be really nice for a lot of people. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.